It was at the end of April. They had me in a room and they had another tech come in while they were scanning the heart. They had the doctor come in and tell me there was a mass on his heart. We had to go to Cleveland in the following Monday and find out what was gonna happen next. What we saw was a very large tumor. And this tumor was sitting exactly in the wrong area. It was squishing the left side of the heart and it was affecting the circulation. We felt the best treatment would be to try open fetal resection of this tumor. If we would have waited, he would have died for sure, yeah. We made a decision in an afternoon and the surgery was gonna be planned 36 hours later. We weighed the options. We know we're doing the right thing. We're gonna take great care of you. Okay. So we're all gonna to work together and we're gonna to, we're gonna do the very best we can to get the best outcome. You're gonna do great. I was so scared. There was so much uncertainty going into that kind of a surgery because there hasn't been that many successful ones. The first thing is to get an IV access. We will need to give medications directly to the fetus as opposed to giving it to the mother, which goes through the placenta and may or may not cross into the fetus. Dr. Najem and our team uh, opened the chest and began to resect this tumor. Once the tumor was off, it was amazing. The left atrium of the heart opened up and you could see blood flow change. I just had to get through the next 72 hours to tell if it would be successful. All the echoes that they did and ultrasounds, they didn't have any complaints. Baby Rylan had 10 weeks of recovery before birth. I text him and right before he's about to leave for work and I go, I think I'm in labor. <laughs> it was a little nerve wracking though because once he was about to come out, we were like, all right, we, we need a scream and he just, he let us have it. Oh, yeah, what a cutie. Rylan Harrison Drennan was born on July 13th, 2021, six pounds, four ounces. He had to go to the PICU for a little over a week. We're going to continue to have to monitor him, make sure things are okay, but uh, there's no sign of any problem. Let's roll. Okay. All right. I was so ready to take him home and watch him be a normal baby. It was the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life, but I'm so glad we did it. He's a little miracle. Hopefully he gets to live the life of a normal kid with a scar on his chest. I get to come home from work every day and see my son. He's already had to go through a lot to get to where he is now. And hopefully when he's older, he looks back on this and he's like, I can do anything. <laughs>